Hi everyone, it's about seven o'clock and it's the end of April and I couldn't resist a quick trip out to my local club pond in the hope of catching a tench. I'm gonna fish out there by those lily pads like an excitable school child, just using one tin of sweet corn that I've nicked from the cupboard in the kitchen. In April, May, um, it's a lovely time to be fishing uh, for tench incursion. It's, um, it's a time of year that I always associate with fishing sweet corn. The water's still clear because we've just come out of winter, which means that the sweet corn's really visible, even if it lands on a piece of weed or a bit of a, a sweet corn connoisseur when it comes to, to fishing. I don't like the cheap stuff. It's normally too grainy, too coarse, more like maize. Uh, the smaller and softer the niblets, the more positive the tapes are. Yeah, I've, I'm using an inferior sweet corn today. It's Tesco's own thick skinned, um, making it less than ideal. I quite like the green giant little niblets. They are softer and ideally with added salt and um, sugar. Coarse fish have a constant problem with salts because they lose it through a process called osmosis. The water literally sucks salt out of fish and salt is an essential nutrient. So that's why baits like prawns and well, any bait with salt in it seems to work so well. People often associate the lift method with tench. That's because tench have a tendency to sit in silt beds and suck and blow repeatedly for, for blood worm and uh, makes you float bob up and down a bit like that when they are over your bait and rejecting it. But they're, re they're rejecting it either because they're on the blood worm or because uh, they can feel the resistance of your float. I'm not dissing the lift method, but when I want a lift method, I want my lift to be like that, not like that, which is the old school lift method. Looks lovely. Lovely to watch, but particularly effective. Some Drennan float stops either side of this float so I can push it right up the line. It must be about eight foot deep out there, I reckon. So short on time, I think I'll start with the hook that I've got on, which is a size 18 cameras and animal hook. That hook length is two and a half pounds, breaking strain. I felt that rod and reel might just give me a little bit more um, control over the fish. I have fished here before and I've done a vlog during the winter, just catching roach and rud. So I'm not completely new to the swim. It's nice to see the lily pads out and it absolutely stinks of wild garlic. That's how much over depth I'm going to be fishing. It amazes me how many people rush this bit, plumbing the depth and shot in your float. I want to get it right. What I like to do is just pop through the skin twice. It stops the fish from being able to take it off quite as easily. And by feathering the, the line as you cast out, that'll just turn the line over and help it to fall through the water column like that instead of just landing in a splat and getting in a tangle. Every year I realise that I've missed at least three weeks of light evenings. Going tench fishing is getting a or cruising fishing is getting increasingly difficult because most lakes will have carp in them which soon bully both those other species out the way to get to food. I'm going to put out about 20 grains of sweet corn just dotted around. They'll find it. I've managed to catch something. <clears throat> it's definitely not tench or cruising. And it's managed to wrap itself around a boy, of all things, a boy. A milk carton on a rope attached to God knows what. <laughs> this is becoming a fish welfare issue. It's a rod. Pretty one. And there's the hook length that's, uh, that I had to snap. Lovely bronze colour for such a juvenile fish. I've snapped the hook length. I don't think I've got enough light left in the day to put a new one on. Probably quite mature. <laughs> it's turned out to be a bit of a disaster, but I'll chuck out the rest of that sweet corn. Come back tomorrow, I think. Good morning. There's 
those bubbles fizzing up as I'd hoped. But what a beautiful morning. A bite straight away because I missed. Fish, but it's definitely not a tench. I spoke too soon. It is a tench. Careful with the milk bottle. Don't laugh. There we are, a little bar of soap. The doctor fish. Tinker, tinker. It hooked. Get that out. No time at all. If that wasn't worth getting out of bed for, what is? A lovely little tench, a bit bigger than the last one. Isn't that beautiful? Turning into John Wilson. Hopefully wiggle its way free, but that's when I'm truly bedded in weed. <laughs> I've got my hat trick then. Fish number three, lovely dark looking fish. Let's get him back. Bit more of a breeze today and that float's traveling so we'll have to dot it down a little bit more and maybe push the float up and sink that line mad when i got here we started to chuck the first hour and now it's dead but i'm gonna carry on it's lovely that's a better fish oh it's off it really felt like a cruising car patch, I'm not just saying that. Well, let's carry on now. It's an hour, hour's wait for that bite after putting that sweet corn in, and I just pushed the float up a little bit. That really felt like a cruising car. Shy fish cruisers, they get bullied out by most other species. Cruising tench. So maybe if the tench have switched off, it gives the opportunity for the cruisers to move in. Not be positive bite. Like a moron, I'm blabbering away there, playing a fish without a camera on. Well, that's probably the best fish out of the lot. And ironically, just, when I had just writing off tench fishing completely, now it's too bright. I caught the biggest one of the morning. He's probably what? Close to a pound, maybe a little bit bigger. Oh. Something I've not mentioned, which I probably should, how to tell the difference between a male and a female tench. Not many species of fish you can. Um, well, you can tell the difference. It's 
the male tench have quite distinct pronounced lumps just behind their pelvic fins. Just there, distinct lump. So we know that's a male fish. <laughs> Happy Easter.